Hi everyone, I am going to show you how to use our new guides um, as a tool as in making a card. Um, I really enjoy this new tool. It's so much better than the grid that we used to have. I know a lot of people are missing that, but I'm, I think I'm going to show you how you can use it and, and make it work for you and, and you'll really enjoy it too. So as you can see, I've already got a card here. Um, it's got houndstooth and scaring bone uh, paper and then I've got some uh, ruffled ribbon that was in color and I changed it to Midnight Muse. And I trimmed it up a little bit, I cropped it just so that it would fit on my small card. This gray box is just a punch and it's just showing me where I want to have a window. So I'm going to actually, when I get this card home, after it's been printed, I'm going to cut that window out. So I want to go up and highlight my grid where it has the little crosshairs and I want to make sure that it has the yellow around it. And I'm just going to pick the spots on my ruler and drag it to go around this little box that I have that's going to be my window. So you can just click and drag and just put it where you need it to be to line things up. Now I'm also going to go around my my ribbon and I'll show you that why I'm going to do that in a minute. So I'll put it right up next to that ribbon edge. Now um, a little thing about it, we've got this, the, if you go up to view and it it'll pick snap to guides. So that what that's going to do is that's going to take whatever you have that you want to line up and it's just going to kind of drop it um, right up next to that line and you'll you, you won't really see it or feel it it just kind of lines up so now I'm going to open opening my card here and I want to wrap that ribbon all the way around so that's why I'm putting lining up the ribbon now it's going to look like I have ribbon going all the way around the edge of my card and I'm, I'm just going to cut this middle part out when I get it back so it won't matter if this little tag is hanging out but as you can see I'm just lining lining everything up and I can just have it look like it's wrapped around now I'm going to do the other part of the inside where my greeting will be and I'm going to go ahead and select a stamp from Day in the Life and it's going to be the frame 4 and I'm going to size that down to fit into that box that I've already got it just goes from each each page so it just stays the same all your guides stay the same so I want the the black part of the box, the dark part, to fit inside of that. So that's going to be where the window will be opened up to. So you can just fit it in there and then change your color to summer star fruit. And then I am going to grab another punch and I just want to back that stamp, that frame up so that it has a little bit of contrast. Send it to the back, line it up. Okay, now I'm just going to give it a little uh, edge around it. I'm going to take a circle in my freeform line and I'm going to change that into a square. So you'll click the curve the line part and you'll say change to line and it's going to straighten out that curve and do it on each side and it'll turn your circle into a square very simply and easily. I love this tool it's wonderful to use there's all sorts of things you can do with it. Okay now I'm going to straighten it out so that it fits in my box around my frame 
Now I just want to show you that once you have it on your page, you can slide this cursor and actually change your shape a little bit. So it's very uh, just a great feature and a great tool to have this freeform line and um, freeform brush. It's just it's I've really enjoyed playing with it and and doing all sorts of fun projects with it. We'll go ahead and add some text here. So you are my friend. I'm going to type it over and over and over. Um, you may just have to adjust it to whatever size that you're doing it. Uh, change your font. Doing LD Aaron, and I'm going to change my color to basic gray. Okay, now I want to select the line, uh, the freeform line that's going around my frame. So I'll select that and I'll select my text box again. And then I'm going to right mouse click and attach to shape. And then your text box will join in with the line box and be attached to that. And then you're going to, going to just adjust it and change your size of font or you, you may have to add some spaces in there as they go around the corners just to get it to where you want it to be. Then you'll change the opacity of your box down to zero then it will disappear. And then you'll go ahead and add your stamp and finish up your card. I hope you enjoyed learning how to use your new guide tool and if you want to reach me you can get me at stampandjewel at cox.net or my website is juliedavidsey.stampinup.net. Have a great day! Thanks!